We're getting on into this pull list this week, y'all. 118, the third week of January, I believe. Yes. Oh, wow. We're Time's cruising. Right. We're going. We're chilling. <laughs> yeah. We're riding that wave right yeah. through, and we're almost through January. <laughs> yeah. Right into February. That's crazy. Right like 2023 just started. I mean, it kind of did yeah. <laughs> in the grand scheme, but, yeah, but yeah, it like, doesn't feel like we're three weeks in yet. No, it feels like a couple days ago was right. three years. You yeah, know? yeah. Book number one this week, we got House of Slaughter, issue number 11. I believe this is the precursor to Something is Killing the Children. Right. Yes. So this, this one has me really excited. I haven't been able to, to get caught up yet because I'm trying to finish Something is Killing the Children right, first yeah. and then... Then read the precursor, and then now they're also coming out with Book of Slaughter, which is pretty oh, okay. cool. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so we have like three different story arcs kind of happening, and I think this one happens before, and then Book of Slaughter, I'm pretty sure, happens after something is killing the children. Gotcha. So lots of cool stuff going on in this one. The main character is kind of battling his own rage in this one, and not only is he having to protect people and save people from these monsters that he's hunting, but he also kind of has to save them or try to save them and protect them from his own rage and guilt. That's kind of okay. all happening in this one. I'm very excited on this one. It's retailing for a cover price of three ninety nine, dollars And uh, I don't know exactly how many pages we got, but we do have seven other variants on this one. One is a trade dress. The second one has a really tiny House of Slaughter logo okay. on it. And then for the rest of them, they're all virgin variants, kind of messing around with the colors. They're all the same image. They even have one that's just like all black and white with that red color splash. Oh, so nice. Some of those variants that I really dig. Book number two this week. Y'all know I had to talk about Nightwing 100, y'all. Yep. You know, I've been talking about Nightwing since this channel started, and now we got Nightwing 100 coming this week. I don't know what to expect because right. I like Nightwing, but I'm not up to date on them. I didn't read the 100 issues before this one. You know, Nightwing's always up to something. For uh, an issue of 100, we'll see what they pull out, you know? Right. It's going to be probably one of those, like, Rick and Morty situations, collector's issues. Yeah. I the- feel like, I mean, most 100 issues number 100 is, right. is kind of like a collector's there's a issue. there's a 100 right in the front cover there's also some other variants in this one without the hundreds so there's definitely some cool ones to check out and look mm-hmm. at so if you are into nightwing grab issue 100 for sure book number three guys we got batman one bad day the bane edition issue number one these are one shots we're getting I don't exactly know what we're, we're going to be diving into with Bane. Not an origin story. <laughs> it's a modern story, but it has to do with a little bit of everything. So yeah. past, present, and future. So we're going we're gonna to have some kind of cool storylines going on. It operates within the Dark Knight territory. Yeah. Honestly, like I've always thought Bane was kind of a cool character. Mm-hmm. They've dumbed him down a lot lately recently i feel like Mm. but the villain bracket i think you guys just saw bane get taken out in the first round if i'm not mistaken it was by poison ivy i believe so um but but there's a big reason behind that yeah yeah but through that it almost like sent me wanting to know more about bane and then getting more interested in him so like bane's Bane's getting higher up on my radar right as this One Bad Day is coming out, so I'm definitely going to pick this one up. And, man, he looks dope yeah. on these covers. Um, Tom Hardy is one of my, uh, like, a favorite actor of mine. Like, I like his stuff, and when he played Bane, I was more excited about it, but I don't, I wasn't in love with the portrayal of him in that movie, mm-hmm. and, but the... But other than that, like Harley Quinn animated series is so funny and, you know, stuff like that. A whole different side of Bane. And he's just Jack, dude. He's a big dude. Yeah. Yeah. Which is insane. And I would love to see him in WWE. That'd be, that'd be pretty. That'd be sick. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't be able to use his juice, though. I feel like without his juice, he probably, probably is pretty horrible to put up with. Book number four this week is I Hate Fairyland number three. There it is. Fairyland is so great. I actually just read two this morning. Uh So, yeah, I'm fully caught up. It's shenanigans. Of course. Yeah. Uh, What what else would you expect? Gertrude is back in Fairyland now. I don't know if anybody else is reading it, so if you're not, this is a little bit of a spoiler, but... 
you know, before this run, she got out of Fairyland. She started this run outside of Fairyland trying to get a job and stuff. Wasn't working out because she was just beating everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> and she was a drunk. And now she had to go back into Fairyland. And it's right back where she left off almost. There you know, go. right back, right back to her old days. Yep. So if you're interested in any of the old Hey Hey Fairylands, I think we're going to get back into really really similar things mm -hmm. we got a couple variants on this one there's a momoka variant on this one so i know some people really like her other than that variants aren't too crazy there's a variant of cover a and uh another cover that you see her doing some craziness on yeah so. i think the variant of cover a is cooler i agree i, agree. I, I like the colors in that a lot more it's a little bit darker yeah without the white background um, I think last issue we got a spawn variant. Yeah. Which was really cool. That's the one I picked up. Really? Yeah. yeah spawn Santa Claus, I think. Really? <laughs> yeah. that, ah, that, I think that looks so cool, man. Oh, yeah. I think this week we have another honorable mention. We do, we've do. we been trying to keep it two books a piece, uh, but we got Deadpool 3 coming this week as yes. well. Yeah. At, the, at the end of issue one, he basically grew arms and became like Carnage Pool. Dang. Essentially, so he went to try to he went to try to get Doc Ock and uh, ended up growing arms, and it's a whole thing. If you All haven't right. checked it out, you need to check it out. Yeah, that's it. I'm we're it. we're only on issue three, so yeah. it's a good time to jump in if you haven't yet. I'm picking up. I didn't know that it was going to be kind of a, a King and Black tie-in. Yeah, yeah, because the symbiote that she ends up because. I know you made a short out of, you know, she's sticking her fingers in his stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ends up sticking a symbiote into him that she got from the Null invasion. She found it on, she found part of a symbiote on the street after Null invaded. Oh, And dang. she kept it, and she's trying to create a new, like, basically a new symbiote, army of symbiotes army. that are loyal to her instead of Null. So it, it's, wow. it's crazy. It's crazy. If you haven't checked out book one, I do have... A breakdown on it so go check out that video if you don't want to pick it up but it, it's an interesting we're, i didn't know what to expect yeah it, i mean it's it crazy. sounds like deadpool is no longer going to be in control of himself but still have all his abilities yeah, and everything we'll so we'll that's going to be we'll a see. fun one but that wraps up this week's podcast we got part one of the villain bracket we got some pull list stuff taken care of and i think that's it so check out the description for some free money on whatnot using the code in the description to sign up get 10 percent off your jitterless energy at w.gg code collective comics at checkout and until next time this has been Collective Comics. Yeah.